to Mike's Garage. I happen to be traveling this week and I needed to rent a car. It's actually just for a day. And uh, they gave me this, a 2021 Chevy Spark LT hatchback. And it's small, really small. Now, as you can see, I'm a big guy. I'm probably half the length of this car wide anyway. Just kidding, not quite. But it is quite small. This, this car is powered by an inline four cylinder 1.4 liter engine. It has a horsepower rating of 98 full horsepower and 94 stunning foot pounds of torque. It's just a powerhouse. Absolutely. I mean, I was thinking of dragging this thing. It's, it's going to be great. Uh, not really. This car, it's not terribly slow, and it does have a CVT transmission. It's obviously it's a rental car. This is not something that I would normally choose. This is really all they had left. Uh, anyway, uh, this car does have uh, front wheel drive. Its fuel economy is about 30, 38 city highway, about 33 mixed. I haven't driven it really that much, so I really couldn't tell you what I'm getting, and I probably won't but that's what it's rated at. It does have a nine gallon fuel tank, which almost like a motorcycle tank on here. Uh, but for a car that gets 38, I guess it's adequate. Anyway, it's uh, kind of a tan color. I'll do a walk around here in a second, but uh, it's, it's just such a small car. I think this is their, their base economy vehicle that you can rent. Let's take a walk around. We will uh, take a look at the interior, and then I'll give you my driving observations. All right, just a quick walk around of the 1.4 liter, 98 horsepower Chevy Spark hot rod. Surprisingly, it has 15 inch wheels, a backup camera, a rear wiper, which is very surprising for an economy car. But it is in a lovely beige. All right. It has lovely cloth seats, which are a little small and cramped, with the bolsters that are a bit too high. But this is the smallest car Chevy makes, so I didn't expect much. Fairly well appointed. Take a look at the back. Anyway, kind of a small back seat, but actually has a cup holder back here. And these seats do fold down, which gives you some nice access into the, I guess it's the trunk, if you want to call it that. There you go. And Enterprise was kind enough to supply not one, but two snow brushes, even though it stopped snowing. Just a very basic door panel. So here is the 1.4 liter four-cylinder Ecotec engine. Adding fluids are pretty easy. You got your washer fluid, you got your coolant, brake fluid. Uh, this does have electronic power steering, so there's no power steering to fill. And then, of course, your oil and your check oil here. So, pretty simple. So, here is your comprehensive uh, gauge cluster. It's got fuel, RPM, speed. It's got a little menu system here, which sort of works. Oil life monitor, and I believe it has your uh, tire pressures. Anyway, this car does have only 1,800 miles on it, but very simple controls for your cruise control, your radio and phone controls here, and then it's got a nice little radio here. Press your home button, takes you to this screen, got your audio, your phone, all your settings, your OnStar, which is also up here on the roof, and you got your music. Your OnStar directions, 
and then your phone, and mine isn't connected yet. Couldn't figure it out, so I just scrapped it. Very simple manual controls here. Simple shift here. So now let's go for a ride and I'll give you my impressions. Okay, now for the all important road test. Uh, this car is a little bit cramped, which I very much expected on a small car like this. It does have a very good turning circle, as you saw. I think it's about 16 feet. Anyway, it is very quiet for an economy car, which does surprise me. Usually they have a lot of wind noise. I think my Sable Wagon has a lot more wind noise than this one. But it steers well. It rides fairly smooth for a very short car. Usually they're a little bouncy. This one isn't too bad. Now it doesn't have any sport suspension or anything fancy like that. It's pretty basic. Now the seat, the bolsters are kind of uncomfortable because the seat is really narrow. And I'm a big guy, as you know, and I don't really like that. That's one problem. The backrest is okay, but it feels like the seats are too small for me, which they probably are. The driving experience isn't terrible. Controls are easy to get to. The uh, stereo is actually pretty good, surprisingly. Uh, takes bumps pretty good. Another thing I don't like is the center console, while it's fairly narrow, it does intrude on my leg way at the very bottom. Uh, it's got a couple cup holders and a little cubby down here, which is nice, but I would have rather it be up a little bit higher and then let my leg have a little extra room. This is a common gripe with all new cars that I've seen, is they have to make these center consoles so intrusive, and I just don't like it. I, I'm kind of wishing they made bench seats still. At least you had some space. So overall, a fairly decent rental. Would I buy one of these? No way. Never. I would never buy one of these. But for me, for this day or two that I'm going to have it, it's going to do the job. It's fairly comfortable. It's quiet. It gets me around. And that's all I really need today. So... Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm glad I was able to sneak this in before it got too dark. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you do. I'll keep doing more videos. Uh, if you like in the comments, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see, and I'll do my best uh, to try to get those for you. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. So long.